Okay. Why don't we do this Pokemon? The good one, not that shitty one I just wrote. The good one, the good one, the good one. Some of us, three-fourths to be precise, are stained with culture. The fabric of our heritage soiled with mud and bone and teeth scrubbed clean on colonial washboards. The blood of our ancestors bleached white with detergents meant to erase our contributions. The pages of our history blown apart like Egyptian noses, only to be picked up by the Hansel and Gretel curiosity of lost generations wandering in a wilderness called North America breadcrumbs, leading us to legacies written and rewritten by the victor. Some of us, brown bodies branded illegal to be precise, toil at jobs you will not work, for a wage you will not accept, for a status you will not grant. Caucasian cartographers carved up a continent and created New Mexico as opposed to old Mexico, but before it was all Mexico. Only a society this perverse will honor a people with shitty fast food tacos and by wearing sombreros every May the 5th, but then turn around and vote for a man who calls them criminals. If you want to make the nation great again, go back and build a wall in 1492 when gangs of murderers and rapists and thieves came over on European boats. Some of us, the caretakers of the earth to be precise, suffer the slings and arrows of manifest destiny. Languages, tomahawk chopped from the tops of domes, down to wounded knees, down to the blood-soaked soil that riddles the landscape with broken treaties and residential schools, and that which could not be destroyed and repackaged and appropriated through the masquerade of Thanksgiving, through the insults of Halloween costumes, through the lie of Disney movie magic Pocahontas, let's be honest, Tonto would have hated the Lone Ranger. After all, he was a white man wearing a mask. Some of us, more concerned with quarterbacks and anthems than the death of unarmed citizens, to be precise, are bitching and moaning about a world gone soft. Everyone's so sensitive, getting offended by words, but these are the very same people getting offended by this poem. <laughs> it seems that you can talk about oppression, just don't mention the oppressor. Because the status quo comfort of your privilege requires silence. Your apathy, mandatory. Our self-loathing, a plus. Miseducation is the most efficient tool in getting us to hate us. And in the absence of self-love, we are forced to embrace a Eurocentric worldview. It's called assimilation. But some of us, armed with pickaxes and shovels to be precise, are rolling up our sleeves, spitting in our hands, and digging in our heels. For there is work to be done. You did not bury our history. You buried a time capsule, a 400-year-old crime scene. And some of us will not like what we've unearthed.